Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. This reading is for my lovely Geminis, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have a North Node or a South Node or wherever your placement is in your chart for Gemini, the reading may resonate for you. Um, again, any information or details you would like to know about the channel, my loves, is down below in the description box. Okay? All right, Geminis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what messages we have for you for the month of January 2021, my loves. And happy new cycle to you all. I wish you peace, love, happiness, and abundance, okay? So let's see, Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node for the month of January, Spirit? What messages, Spirit, do we have for Gemini's? Ooh, it came out quickly. All right. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, Ten Ten definitely has been some ending of cycles and new cycles beginning for you, Geminis. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy. All right, my Jimmys. Let's see what else. Near future, your spirit. What mess? Okay. Didn't want to go back in. All right. Good vibes only. Ten of pentacles, ten of wands, and six of pentacles. A lot of pentacles here, a lot of earth energy. Okay, to weigh out the one here. We have the ones here in the middle of the deck. Okay, so let's see. Let's just see what this is all about. We have your past energy, my loves. The Ten of Pentacles here, okay? And we have the Ten of Wands, fire energy. Some of you all could have dealings with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or again, Earth energy, Capricorn here, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, because your energy is not here yet, okay? So let's see here, my loves. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of pentacles here why is the ten of pentacles here definitely beautiful energy here in the past okay some of you all was able to be um however with the pandemic and the nationwide you know energies that are going on right now um there was ten of pentacles however back here in your energy so as we know, it's not like that everywhere and all over the world, right? And depending on what frequency you're tuning in on, right, Geminis? So let's see here. Spirit, clarify the... Whoa, that wanted to pop out for the Ten of Pentacles. The Devil. Ooh, let's talk about it. That went a little quick, Okay. Um, so I feel like for some of you all, this Ten of Pentacles here, um, something you all, um, I'm hearing controlling, something definitely being controlling or in regards to finances or trying to control your finances, trying to control, um, in regards to having, um, everything being financially stable with your household. We know, um, recently here with the full moon in Count Siren, trying to adjust and, have security and balance here. Um, so I feel like for some of you all, you know, um, and that could come also with a need of being obsessed to have this 10 of cups energy, 10 of cups. Okay. Well, I mean, you might as well. We got the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of wands. All we missing, Gemini is the 10 of cups out here. Okay. Mm, give me one more card, Spirit. Definitely, as I keep hearing, obsessed. So definitely being obsessive over, you know, trying to, you know, have the all in all, right? Of being over controlling of this foundation and trying to have all in all of this, okay? Then we have 
the heart font come out here Taurus energy okay so definitely something trying to be controlled or trying to control again um the family okay i'm hearing as well the family the home the foundation you know controlling um as well this could be a commitment or a marriage okay trying to control a commitment or a marriage or just trying to control the relationship or overall something um you know of the energy of course being however toxic here right and needing to understand and learn lessons from these energies or what caused in regards to the devil card here wow okay let's see where this is going let's see where this is going gemini's clarify the ten of wands the Ten of Wands, Spirit, clarify the Ten of Wands. Burdens here for some of you all, Geminis. This is your past energy here. So this, for some of you all, is currently being a burden. And it also could be as far as this relationship. Okay, I'm almost done. Yes, you already put the toys up? Okay. Yes, that's fine. Okay. All right, I'm sorry about that. Moving forward, we have the Ten of Wands here, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Yes, wanting to put these burdens down because overall there is definitely something that is catching your attention um gemini's or you are catching someone else's attention here with how she's looking at this one definitely being inspired i'm hearing engaged some of y'all being engaged or definitely engaged in this energy um some of you all could be a fire sign again sagittarius leo or aries here gemini's but whatever this is this gives you passion it gives you um fulfilling in your spirit okay because this is something where you're able to create where you're able to take whatever steps are necessary to pursue this desire and dream and passion that you want to go out of rather this is a project a new platform for you something that's going to be a stepping stone i'm hearing for you as well okay i like it but of course until the ten of ones until the burden is put down so you can make this time and make this space i feel like gemini's for you all that's ready to start this fresh new start okay because that's happening as a collective we all are ending cycles ending old patterns and way of doing things that we cannot simply go back and try to do the same way everything has been a change as a collective right Okay, all right, thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini's. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, Spirit. Mm. Yes, definitely have learned a lot of lessons here for some of you all. Have went through a karmic cycle. I'm getting here as well. They're taking me back here in this past energy right here. Okay, I don't want to get you all thrown off. Okay, but here is the past energy. Here's your present energy, and this is your future. Um, excuse the nails, my loves. Okay, um, moving forward, the harfinance here. Okay, um, you know, some of you all, this is in the energy of here. Just a couple of months, a year ago, a couple of years ago, two years ago, however, okay, um, being obsessive and wanting to have this Ten of Cups, the white picket fence, the house, the kids, the dog, the cat, okay, um, but it took lessons, okay, something that you wanted to control or be control of a situation and relationship when sometimes that's just not how it was divinely ordered for you at this time for some of you all or in this time in the past here gemini or again this could be vice versa for the energies of the person that's currently in their head space and also was however controlling in this relationship that you two experience gemini right um there was however 
controlling, okay, wanting to um, obsessively, con obsessively control this. I can't even say my words or pronounce them correctly. Lord. Mm. Okay, Gemini's. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify these six of pentacles. Four of cups. Yes, not wanting to... Um, hmm. Gemini, I do not feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is possibly could be... Um, again, we have fire energy here. And we also have um, water energy, Scorpio, Cancerian, or Pisces, okay? As well as fire energy and earth energy. We have a little bit of everything on the table here, my loves. So for the other wave of you who I'm feeling as if where it just went left, where this is someone else's energy as well that I am picking up here, okay? And it was definitely a situation here with finances. We're trying to keep a stable home, okay? It wasn't definitely built and instructed to be built the way it was. If this was a child, your child, father, or your child's mother, okay? The foundation was not, it was not built correctly, okay? Um, there was a lot of um, controlling issues, toxic behaviors, okay? Commitment, possibly commitment issues. This could be a spouse for some of you all, okay? Or ex-spouse. But it was definitely a burden, Gemini, for some of you all. Yeah, we have the three of wands here. And now you all are waiting, you know, you're waiting manifested some of you all have manifested um you know just a new place i'm hearing a new place to stay a new job a new just a lot of you have of course as a collective as we stated we've moved around right we've changed in so many ways a lot of us has been through the death process of the scorpion card okay of the death rebirth process All right, thank you, spirits. So let me go ahead and get a Moonology card to finish. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to do one more spread. So I just feel like I can't, not that I can't move on from that, but I just feel like there is more information or something else is needed to be said here. So I'm going to pull out some more cards here for you, my loves. Bear with me one moment. Let me get some shuffles in here. All right, Spirit, thank you for those messages. What other messages do you have for Gemini for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What other messages, Spirit, do you have? Close the door, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Spirit, my apologies, my loves. The world. Beautiful. As I stated, cycles are ending for you all. You're coming into a new atmosphere, a new environment, okay? Okay. I feel like divine is definitely helping you, assisting you as well, keeping you protected, okay? You all are definitely following your synchronicities, Gemini's, okay? Um, and just knowing that there is cycles, there is levels to this shit, okay? And this is something that definitely, with you being in your fire energy and wanting to create, okay? Mm. And it is time. As I stated, you have the 10 of... You have the Ten of Wands to come out. Thank you, Spirit. And you have the Ten of Pentacles, 10-10. Ten, ten. So definitely the world card also means 10. So that's a confirmation three times, Gemini, three times that this cycle, this relationship, these energies, this person, this person, place, or thing has ended. It is done. The cycle is completed. 
Now, it's up to you if you want to go back and re, re, renew, redo that cycle. Or particularly that same cycle, okay? Everything is a choice. All right. Thank you, Spirit. This was definitely someone that was a soulmate, a contract that was signed to be learned between you two. That's why your bond is so close. Okay, what are the messages, Spirit? The Ace of... The Ace? We ain't got the Ace. I was going to say the Ace of Wands. Okay, so some of you are definitely ready to take on this new adventure, take on this new project. Some of you are about to start your own business here, okay, with this completion happening for you all and for you all in the past. It recently just happened for you all, so now you're able to go in the month of January, starting new, starting fresh, and you're getting communications, you're getting energies that want to collaborate with you, I'm feeling as well, Gemini's. Okay, thank you, Spirit. One more card. The lovers. Here you are, my loves, Gemini. Here you are now. Okay? The lovers, you know, definitely making a decision. Choosing you or choosing to go back and redo this cycle. It's up to you, Gemini. Oh, that was a confirmation for someone. Okay. All right, Spirit. Clarify the world. The world spirit. Clarify the world. Knight of Pentacles. Earth energy. Some of you all have a earth sign coming your way. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here, okay? Um, definitely have been taking our time, okay? Slowly but steady wins the race, okay? Keep that in mind, Geminis. But as this cycle completes, I feel like... For you all now, again, wanting to cre um, create and energies are wanting to, of course, collaborate with you. Because, again, you have this eight of wands here. This eight of wands here. So, thank you, Spirit. So, what they're saying is this cycle had to come to a complete here. Okay? I'm hearing it had to come to a halt. It had to come to a stop. Okay? So, that way it can open doors and open opportunities. Now, this may not happen overnight, okay? We know the Knight of Pentacles, of course, moves very slow. And this Earth sign, however, for some of you all, again, it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that's coming towards your way. Um, that once the cycle was completed, the divine, your angels, I feel like a lot of you are your angels are being around. Again, you're being definitely in tune with your um, higher self. Okay, uh, now the opportunity I'm hearing is available in here for you now for this lover, this new partner for some of you all. Or again, this new job, this new career, this person, this partnership that wants to collaborate with you. Okay, now we getting somewhere, Gemini's. Okay, I had to do a second layout here, okay? Nice spirit, thank you. Moving forward, clarify the eight of wands. What communication? What is this moving fast? There are needs to move quickly. What is this spirit? And again, if the reading resonates, my loves, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified when your readings come out, my loves. Seven of swords, but some of you all are still looking back. Okay, for some of you all with the Eight of Swords to be in here. Because we have energies and cards high over here meaning to move forward. This card, the King of Pentacles, is moving forward. The World card is a completion move, meaning, thank you, Spirit, moving forward. The Eight of Wands is another card as in moving forward. And then, however, we have the Seven of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Here you are, my loves. It was looking back, looking back at these two swords. You're being very cautious, okay? We know the seven of swords, it was sneaky energy as well, okay? So some of you all, um, you know, this communication coming in, being very cautious or, you know, again, 
looking over your back from this information or possibly from this person from your past that's communicating with you and wanting to communicate with you. Um, again, this earth sign. Okay. All up now, spirit. The lovers. Clarify the lovers. Wow. Double confirmation. Damn, Gina. Ooh. Look at you, my loves. The lovers. Bonus. Okay. Masculine and feminine energy. Hmm. making a decision so this person definitely for some of you all has came towards your way once before and you made your decision because we know the lovers is also about making a decision either choosing again this person is individual this situation or again choosing yourself choosing to love yourself or choosing this individual to show that love and compassion for or towards okay as i mentioned soul mate energy Okay, twin flame energy contracts that needed to be signed here um, to learn lessons here as well. Spirit mentioning your first spread here. Okay, give me more about the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, Spirit. One more card here, Spirit. Then we'll finish up your name. Gemini's. Gemini's. My Jimmy's. I hope all is well, my loves. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Oh, the Five of Swords. Mm. Yeah, see, this is why I feel like some of this energy is not yours as well. I feel like other energy or this, this particular person um, that's in their um how i say this feels or emotions gemini's um there is experiencing a lot of external conflict okay and i feel like the moves that they're trying to make the communication that's possibly coming towards your way here again with the eight of wands here is being in the energy of you know doing things behind because i'm getting a different situation now doing things behind your back being sneaky about how they're going with um, okay, with, you know, making a decision here with the lovers, okay, making a decision in how they want to um, pursue this because you have an offer here from this King of Pentacles. Well, what is this spirit? Where are we going? The King of Pentacles. Ooh, more earth energy. Yeah, definitely someone's dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here, Gemini, okay? Well, why do we have all these five of swords? A lot of thoughts going on in your head as well, Gemini, about this king of pentacles over here, okay? All right, my loves. Is that it, Spirit? Okay, look, I have to sit in silence to see if you need any more downloads here. Look, you go from a completion, a cycle ending, start off at the page of Pentacles, and then we finish up here in the mask and king of pentacles energy some of y'all this could be a child of your father your child's father or mask and energy or your father okay for some of you all and this communication again from this earth sign okay um could cause conflict okay with this with the decision that's being made here and for some of you all, it's a decision towards this earth sign. Okay, spirit. Thank you for the messages here. Let's go ahead and get a moonology card here to finish up your readings, my love. Let's see what message overall the 
Let's see if we can get one more message here in regards to the spreads, okay, that we got here. Hopefully that was helpful, my loves. I see there's a lot of, you know, back and forth indecisive thoughts. And even if this, if this is the individual Gemini that's overpowering your energy or vice versa, if this is you, Gemini, okay? All right, spirit, what color? Oh, thank you, slow it down, spirit. Be bold and make the first move. Is that what it was, Gemini's? Is that what it was, Jimmy's? Okay, be bold and make the first move. One more card. One more card for the one time. So that's why we have the two of lovers coming out twice. In your own energy with you being decisive. Which I can understand, honey. You uphold the twins. So it's a lot to think and, you know, think over. So it's going to take more than thinking over, over a meal, okay? Okay, Gemini. So I understand, Okay. Be bold and make the first move, Gemini's. Again, that this is a new beginning in love or this is a new beginning in a career, something that, you know, fulfills you on that level of passion and what you've always desired and had dreams to do. And if this is person, okay, this life partner I mentioned, this soulmate I mentioned, twin flame, um, energy, this yin and yang, basically, you know, you both or went through your lessons, you both learned your lessons, you both now are able to um, share stories with each other on how you've been through what you've been through in now, right? Take time to breathe. You're going to need it, honey. Okay? Take time to breathe. Okay, my loves. So that has been your reading, Gemini's. I hope the reading again resonated with who it needed to resonate with and if when it did, my loves. And if it did, I'll see you soon, my loves. Be a part of Love and Forever Evolving where we do not judge you on this channel. And take this opportunity, okay? Be bold and make the first move, okay, my loves, Gemini? I'll see you soon. And remember, your health is your wealth. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye-bye.